So it returns and finds its home, former home, empty, swept, and in order. Something very important to note here. It finds its former home empty. This scripture, Matthew chapter 12, verses 43 through 45, this scripture, this portion of scripture, which talks about the demonic power re-entering its host, does not apply to born-again believers. That is a forced reading upon this text. It's not what it's saying at all. There's nothing in this scripture that indicates that a born-again believer can be repossessed by a demonic being after salvation. Notice, again, it says empty. Well, believers aren't empty. We have the Holy Spirit filling us. But that doesn't mean that we can just let our guards down. This doesn't mean that we can just live a life of apathy and say, well, I can live however I want. I can walk in sin. I can walk in compromise, and nothing will ever happen to me. Well, no, that's foolishness, and that's not true. Here's the reality. Demonic powers return to regain whatever influence is possible. In the case of the unbeliever, when a demonic power returns, it's possible that it can re-enter. When a demonic spirit returns to find a place of influence in the life of the believer, it can return, it can look for points of vulnerability, but it cannot re-enter again to the point of demonization or possession. So what can they do? Well, they return to deceive. They return to torment. They return to tempt. They return to harass. In other words, the demonic power, even though it cannot repossess the Christian, even, it cannot, even though it cannot attach itself to their being, even though it cannot inhabit them again, it will still look for something that it can do. So when a demon returns to a born-again believer, it can return to attack, but never again to re-enter. I'll say that again. When a demonic being comes back to look for places of vulnerability in the life of the believer, it can return to attack, but it can never again return to re-enter. And so we have to understand this in the light of the truth of the Scripture. Now, I have a teaching, Can Christians Be Demon-Possessed? That's something that's available on my channel if you want to watch that for free, where I go into great detail as to why Biblically speaking, it's a fact that Christians cannot be possessed. And so, again, even though we look at the Scripture and we can glean some truths, not all of these truths have what we call universal application. 